issues. So first thing, I'm not sure how much petrol's in this aeroplane. We will flick on engine, instruments, master. Yeah, very little at all. Okay, day. First things first, pull the prop through, get it pre-flighted, and then we'll go and get some petrol. Okay, so next first thing we've got to do is check the oil. And it's just had a service and been run, so it's going to be down a bit, I think. Yes, yeah, sure enough it is. So we'll try and make minimal mess in the cabin. Get the dipstick out of the way. Get out an enormous bottle of oil. And we'll pour it in, making a minimal amount of mess. Oh, look at that. Does help when the container's already half empty or half full depending on your perspective on life so we get that topped up and then we'll pull prop through okay you've all seen me start a beaver before so you can look at that in another video if you like because i haven't got proper camera set up today okie doke so oil is done up Got the fuel and oil shut off, locked, wired, can't beat the car, can't break the come on. All the switches are off, mags are off, marking come on. Cross to fuel, go to the rear tank. Thank you, Dave. We'll go engine instruments on, we've got a mixture rich, we'll wobble a bit of fuel pressure up. Sat for a bit, so we'll take a bit, we'll get up to five there. We will. Open the primer, hold fuel pressure up on the wobble pump while we do it, let the primer fill, you can probably hear that squeaking away at us, and one, two, three, this one. Likes about three on this sort of temperature. Primer is definitely locked. And then four pumps. One, two, three, four, back. An accelerator pump on the carby. And back. Good. Window open so we can hear some nice 985 noises. And we'll shut the door. And we'll crank it. So we're going to crank it five blades. Once we get through five blades to suck some of the fuel into the cylinders. Go to both on the mags, and uh, if we've done everything right, she'll fire. Clear prop. They can come on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Mags hot. Next, I'll just lean out a little bit, and still running on only a few cylinders at the moment. So let it fit off about 300 rpm. Uh, you can see the oil pressure coming up nice and gently, rather than if we lit it off at too high of an rpm. Then, whoops, let it conk completely, so that was too low. If we lit it off at too high of an RPM, then it'll just uh, shoot the oil pressure through the roof and start blowing oil coolers, that sort of thing. Um, okay, doke, so mags off. We'll get one, two, three, four, back, cracked open, and we'll do the same again. One, two, three, four, five, mags hot. Had the throttle cracked about a mil open extra this time, so it's lit off just that little bit higher RPM. So probably about 350 or so. It's not really registering when I gauge. There we go. Now we're registering. There's 400, 500. And we'll just let it warm up as more cylinders come online. And so while we wait for it to warm up, so that we can go around to the fuel bed and get some fuel, time for a cake. Belly tanks, a front one, a middle one, and a back one. Um, I'm just going to fill up the back one for this five minute flight across to Cessnook. Only because it filled it right up and then suddenly had to put a heavy load in it, I wouldn't be able to take it. So I'm going to fill it up, and that gives us about an hour's fuel. Okay, we've got some fuel, done a pre flight, time to kick the fires and light the tyres.
temporary restricted area between here and Cessnock, which is about that way. Um, so we're going to have to go up to 2,000 to get over it and then uh, duck back down again, or either that'll go round it, it's only five miles. Uh, but the sun is setting, so we might not get your chieftain walk around video in, but I promise that'll come soon. Here we are back in Cessnock. I've got to talk quietly because of police helicopters just down at the fuel bowser and I don't want the policeman to think I'm going mad talking to myself. So just give it a wipe down and we're just gonna take it down. Bucket in the boot there with all the gear so that you can make sure it doesn't blow away in the breeze. And there's the Chieftain, it flew earlier today, but we'll make sure that we do a video on that one another day. We'll dedicate it its very own video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.